Welcome to another Glen Tech video. Be sure to subscribe. We have tons of video on website building, cPanel, and much, much more. We have complete playlists on everything you need to know about website building. In this particular video, we're going to be editing the Fun Parallax 2 theme. What we will be covering is how to change the text, how to change the images, and how to change the size of the parallax. What we're going to be editing is Fun Parallax 2. You don't have to be a coding expert or know anything about coding to edit this. We're going to go over everything step by step and we're going to make it simple so anybody can understand. It's a fun little Parallax, as you can see, you know, we got two different ones moving at, and they kind of move at different speeds, and the text moves at the same speed as the background. At any rate, let's go ahead and get to it, and we're going to see what's going on. And like I say, you don't need coding experience, just follow the video. The first thing I always try to tell people is you have to understand cPanel a little bit. We have a complete playlist on cPanel covering every part of this. cPanel is very user friendly. If you've never used it or you're afraid of it, don't be. It's very user friendly, very easy. And again, it's not about being a coding expert. It's just about understanding how things work a little bit. So we're going to assume you already understand when we go into this. And like I said, take a look at the playlist cPanel. First thing we do is click on File Manager, click on Public HTML. If your store is under a web address as such, .com, .org, .whatever, then your store will be right here. But ours is actually in subfolders because this is not set up as a store, this is more like a demo. So we need to go to the subfolders. And we're going to find it right here, Fun Parallax 2. Now we're in our store. So this is what your store will look like. So in other words, you just have to navigate to the correct folder. And like I say, if you have any problems with that, watch the cPanel videos. They explain how to navigate through all the folders and files and what have you like that. So once you're here, then we need to click on the Includes folder. Then we need to go to the Templates folder. Now here you'll see four themes. These are our themes. Three of them come with Zencart, and one of them we've installed, the Fun Parallax 2. That's the one we're going to be editing. So we click on that, and then we go to our Common folder. Then we're going to go to Header PHP. And we're going to Edit, Edit. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, we'll find it. Here it is, Parallax. What we can adjust here is basically our text. You can see here it says, have fun shopping. So let's just put a in uh, now after, have fun shopping now. Save our changes, come over here, we're going to reload, have fun shopping now. Now sometimes, because of the way browsers set up, depending on how you're using and, you know, all kinds of different things. Web browsers, be it Google, Firefox, I am using Firefox, like to save this kind of information because what will happen, like if you reload this, then it says, oh, I don't have to download all this stuff. I already know it from the last thing. So it won't change it. And the ways you can get around that, if you've made your edit here and you saved your changes, you can always click Save Changes again. It says you have made no new changes. And it doesn't show up. Then you can try doing F5, which is like a hard reload. Or sometimes you have to clear your web browser. So if you go over, uh, say, History, Clear Recent History. And like I say, this is Firefox. So Google's going to be a little bit different. They're all going to be a little bit different. But it's the same principle. And you can clear it for however long you want and then it should show up fine. At any rate, let's go back and we're going to delete the now. We're going to save our changes. We'll come back over here. We're going to reload again. 
and it's gone. Right there is how you edit your text. Very simple. You just highlight that, you know, put whatever you want in there. So the only thing you have to be careful of, if you look right here, it says arrow slash H2 arrow. So the H2 is saying that it, it's a text. And when you have a slash there, that means that it's the end of the text. So that is coding, but that's telling your web browser that that's the end of the text. Then we have H2 up here that is saying that it's the beginning of the text. Now we have a little bit of style in here. You can see it says style, text shadow, and then we have some numbers on here. So this is how we're getting the shadow in the back. It's like pink shadow. So I'm going to tell you this is fun to play with. You know, and you can learn something about coding at the same time you can have a little bit of fun. But what I generally do before I go messing with something like that, I'll highlight the whole thing, copy it, and then put it in a note, notepad on your computer because if you mess something up, then you just come back here and you highlight it, delete it, and then repaste it, save your changes, and it's back. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the colors. This is our color here. Now there's three basic ways of writing color. One is through hex and then six letter number combinations. One is just writing the color and one is using RGB. And they all three work. Curious about colors, just Google uh, HTML colors or website colors and millions and millions of combinations and ways to write them will come up and you just fill it in there. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to show you uh, let's just do green. I'm going to save our changes, come over here, I'm going to reload, and you see it's green. You might ask, well, why not just write the color green if I want green, or red if I want red? Well, the thing about it is, is when you write the colors, that's what you're getting. So you're getting green. Now, when you break it down and you have a hashtag like here, FF000, you're toning in on the color. So think about if you have green, how many different shades of green are there? You know, I'm sure it's almost endless. This way you can pick the shade you want and what have you like that. You know, the next thing we'll do over here too so you can see what this changes. Let's do green again, save our changes, reload. And you see it kind of just put a little bit of green in the background. Kind of changed it from being a more of a pinkish red. You see this one down here is more of a pinkish red. So at any rate, it's, it's fun to play with. And, you know, you can change the colors, like I say, anything you want, any way you want. The other thing we can change, and we're going to, is the width of the shadows. So this is 20. Let's just make it 80 so we can really see our difference. And we put the colors back so our colors should be back. Let's reload it. And it should be spreading out some, which it kind of is. And we'll do the same thing over here. So it's spreading out more. And it's still just a shadow, so you're not getting a whole lot to it. But you can fine-tune your shadow in with this. And you just change things and see what it does. So let's change one of these to uh, 80. And it will it should shadow a different part of it. That's the way you would come from like a peak, complete background color. You see what almost took it away. But just, you know, you can play around with it and see what you can come up with it's it's kind of fun so there it is back you know if you like that leave it alone move on so at any rate that's pretty much only edits we can do here so we're going to close out of this one and we're going to go up one level then we're going to go back to common and we're going to go to main page php we're going to edit, edit, and then we're going to scroll down and we will find it.
your numbers aren't necessarily going to be the same. There's different things that affect those, the way it was uploaded and different other things. But you need to find to where it says parallax. When you see the arrow explanation point dash dash and it's uh, dash dash arrow and it's kind of green, that means that it's a comment, not a part of the code. So up here you see that's a comment. So this is just saying this is where that parallax starts. And you see we got the exact same thing here. The only difference is that it's saying a parallax 2. So this is parallax number 2. And you got your, your uh, color, your shadow, and so on. Take a look at our features. So here's where you would change your text. Take a look at our feature products here. Take a look at our feature products. That's where you would edit your text. And pretty much just what we went over is the same thing, except it's in the second down here. You see, but it's the same basic principle. So we don't have to explain all that again. I'm just showing you where it's at. So that is in main page PHP. Then we go up one level and we come to CSS folder and we want style sheet CSS and we're going to edit, edit, and then we're going to go all the way to the bottom. We go all the way to the bottom and then we scroll up some. Okay, and you see here's where it begins the same way that is a comment for the CSS. It's written a little bit different, but it's the same thing. So there's basically nothing you can do up here. It's all part of the program to make it work the way it is. Where we start having our edit is down here where it says section parallax. So again, that's a comment, section parallax. So what we can do here is we can edit the size of it. Now, this also has the address for our image. And you don't need to ch you don't want to change this and we're going to go over how to change the image in a minute but first we're going to go over we're going to change this to 400 you see padding top padding bottom we're going to change this to 400 and this is our parallax one so that would be the top parallax okay so then we're going to reload it and it looks the same let me try f5 there we go. See what I mean? So I reloaded it with an arrow and it didn't change. So now you see how big the top part is? That's almost a full screen, right? So let's go back over here. It was 200. Let's make it 100. And you don't have to keep these numbers even padding top, padding bottom, but it keeps it centered on your picture. So if you do like 400 here and 100 here well then it's gonna it might offset your picture a little bit but you can try it and if that's the way it looks good that's what you want and you can leave it that way well that didn't work last time so let's f5 again so you see how small it is now so see what i mean so that is how you adjust this we're gonna put this back 400 no, it wasn't 400, it was 200, wasn't it? Okay, so that is our edits here. That's a parallax one. Now we can move down to our parallax two. So see here again, section parallax, it's got the same explanation, but here it says parallax 2, parallax 1. So 1 is the top, 2 is the bottom. Now here it says 100. So let's make just make that 3 for fun. Make that 3 for fun. Let's save our changes, come back over here. All right, so you see what that did? So it's kind of cool. You can play with it and get it where you want it. 
So let's go back over here. We'll make, put that back the way it was. One, just for the sake of doing it. One, save our changes, come back, reload, and there it is back the way it was. So it's pretty simple. You just have to be careful you only do what change what's there. You don't want to mess with any of the letters or anything else. You're just only changing the numbers. And again, if you take note here, take note of your number is 602 here. And I would, you know, if this was new to me, I would do it. I would just go down to like 620, copy, paste, put it in a notepad. If something gets all screwed up and you mess up, you say, okay, I'm right at 602. And if you're like me, I would have to write down 602 on a piece of paper, I'd forget it. But then you just go back, highlight to where you stopped, paste it back in, save it, and boom, you're back where you started from. That is basically all only adjustments you can make here. Now all this down here, media queries, that's all to make it responsive. So this is a completely responsive thing. In other words, you look on your cell phone and it will you know adjust to the size and you see here is our other address for our image and like i said you don't want to change it here now one thing we're going to close out of this one thing i forgot to show you we're going to go back to common and we're going to go back to header php edit edit Okay, we're going to go back down to where our parallax is. Now, when it says this divide, this is ending it. Again, anything with a slash in the thing is ending. But this is all part of the coding. You don't have to worry about that. But what you can do, if you notice here, these are tight against each other. So say you want to do a little bit of adjustment. Well, what you can do is you can do an arrow, BR, arrow. And that's actually considered a break. We save our changes, come back over here. We're going to reload. And you see how we got a space here? So if you wanted them separated, you can make them get a little bit of separation in them. And it's important. That's why I want to show you. So say we can do this again, arrow, BR, arrow. And it's written just like that. If you write it that way, this is what you'll get. So now our space got bigger. You can actually keep doing that, make as much as you want. That's the simplest way to create some space here if you want it. You know, I find the whole thing a little bit entertaining. You doing this, you are learning a little bit about coding. You can't help it. And it's kind of fun, you know, see how to change things. So the last thing we need to edit, of course, is our images. So we're going to go up one level, and just to show you, we're still in our Fun Parallax 2 folder, and we're going to Images, and then you'll see the two images that are being used. This is par.png and par2.png. So the easiest way, I think, to upload images is here. What we're going to do, you can either do one of two ways. You can rename the these by that you can click on them rename and we'll put a one here so it's a different name or you can simply delete them if you're sure you don't want them anymore the thing is is if you have two images there can only be one address because it won't know which image to show so you can only have one address now you can change your images where they're at so the images we're going to be uploading is some of these you can change them here or you can change them up once you get them up you can rename them so we're going to click upload and we're just going to upload them first we're going to click select file and the first thing I'm going to show you is two identical pictures but you see how they're different sizes so we're going to click on that and we're going to upload another one click on that and then we're going to go back so we're going to take this one first, we're going to rename it, and we're going to call it par.png. So that was the name we had before we changed it, right? 
We're going to come over here and we're going to reload. So we can see here that our image has changed. Now you see here in the bottom you don't see any image. Well that is because we changed the address to our image and we haven't put something in its place. So if you're looking here and you're saying, hey, my image didn't show up, this is probably why. But the first thing I want to show you is how this looks. Say you want this this size and you want that to be your first part of the image. Well, then you need to crop the image and some of it is trial and error to crop the images. Now you see this image and this image, how they're different. So this is the image we see. So we're going to try this image on there and see what we get out of it. So we go back over here. And this one we're going to have to rename first. And we're just going to put it in here for we know that's our new image. And then this is the one we got to change. All right, then we go back over here. And we're going to reload. So you see how the image is, is in a different spot. So if you didn't catch that, I'll do it one more time. So you see the girl's heads here. Let's change it back. What did I say? That, oh, we have to do the... Let's reload so they're all next to each other. Okay, we got to do this one first. Rename. We'll just put a three in front of it. And then we got this one, we put an N in front of it, rename, put it back, come over here. Now you see where the girl's heads are, now watch again. You see how it's up higher? So those are those difference in the images. And so you can crop the image around to get more of what you want. So it appears like this one is looking a little bit better. That's the one that we just put up there. You know, you, you, you kind of want, it depends where you want your image. I'm just showing you how you can basically adjust them and do what you want with them. So the other thing you can do, of course, would be where we edit it, the size of it, the bottom and the top padding to change it. And you can move it around, but it takes a little bit of effort playing around with it to get it exactly the way you want it. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and delete these. Three, delete. And then we're going to upload another one. Let's upload this one. And we're going to put this one back for one because we deleted the top one, just leave an image there. Okay, so there's the image we just uploaded. Name it PAR.PNG. Rename file. Oh, I'm sorry. We need it PARPNG2. PAR2.PNG. All right, we go back. We're going to reload. And you see, there's our image down there. The way the images come out, I'll show you again. This is the BMW image, but you see the way the image is. And you see what's showing. So you kind of got to play with it till you get it where you want it. You can crop it and edit it. And you can do all that in, you know, your basic Windows program. If you want a space there, you can put a space there, what have you like that. But that is basically how we edit our images. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free. Just contact us and, you know, let us know if you'd like something that we don't have a video on. Go ahead and make a comment or send us an email and tell us you'd like to see a video made on such and such and we'll try to do it. We here try to, we understand, you know, 
what it's like to try to learn and try to do this. You might be the best, have the best store and be the best salesman in the world, but if you're paying somebody thousands and thousands of dollars to make a store for you, you're losing all your profits when you can do it yourself. And we don't just hand you a theme and say, here you go, good luck, like so many places out there. If you have a particular theme that you'd like to see, color set up or whatever like that, like again, email us and let us know. And we'll try to help you out. And I hope this, you know, helps you understand a little bit. You have a pleasant day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.